Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Welcome to Pizza Day. Yeah, and I didn't eat up all the pizza this time. We still got the seven pizzas in the freezer that we had. Hey, that reminds me, I gotta get one of them out. Uh, yeah, that we had last week. So, uh, anyway. Now, what do we got going on here? Well, there's nothing model related, or I mean, there's no model model module on the table, let's put it that way. And uh, the reason for that is uh, yesterday I sort of cleared off the table a little bit here and I was had my drill press set up and I was drilling some holes in my, in my two by fours to make up a frame for the floor. Uh, which I actually, I actually time-lapsed it when I took the frame outside and fastened the plywood down. I don't know if you want to see that or not. Maybe I'll stick it at the end of the video after the sunrise. Now, speaking of the sunrise, we did have one this morning. It was, it was nice. And the walkers did come by. So the, uh, the walkers are alive and well. <laughs> we didn't see them for two days. Uh, yeah, they, they didn't ask me for permission not to show up when they're supposed to. <laughs> anyway, it looks like I still got a little bit of sawdust going on here. I thought I vacuumed that all up, but I just noticed it a few minutes ago. Uh, okay, yeah, I had, I had a horrendous mess going on here. And, <laughs> as, as you will, as you will have seen, if I dubbed in the part where I, put on my, when I came through with my helmet cam and before I went for my bike ride. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, what are, what are we going to be doing here? Uh, I think we'll probably do a little bit on the model. Uh, there might be a little less. I don't know how it's going to go. As you can see, I don't even have the module sitting here on the table. It's in, in the back there. I guess I, I guess I could get it. I think we're very, very careful here. Very, very careful. Yeah. Oh, I, I see that our one little, uh, one of our little uh, parts here has uh, slumped over. I, I guess I didn't wait long enough. Okay, that, that's okay. It's, it's not, it's not broken or anything. Maybe I'll have to rehydrate that connection because it's yeah, it kind of. I thought I thought it had dried, because when I cleared cleared the table off here for yesterday's uh, drilling, uh, I, I thought that the connections had all dried and I didn't have to worry about it. But anyway, uh, let's recompose. Oh my! Uh, I was in the halfway through changing my batteries here, and then I thought I'd better get the today's video started. Um, so uh, this this is my my uh, kitchen scale, by the way. <laughs> and, you know those batteries they stood up pretty good. I've had that scale for a long time, and these are the original batteries that that came with it. The just Am this scale is called an Amazon Basic scale. <laughs> they, they have their own stuff, and uh, so they had Amazon batteries in it naturally. And I got a, a package of Amazon batteries for for the money. They're not bad. They they don't stand up as long as the as say the ever ready I was gonna say alkaline but what's the what's the new one uh, lithium those those ones seem to be really good but they're also really expensive uh, okay I, I had a pair of those in in the sending unit of the uh, thermo my recording th or not recording but my thermometer. And it was in the th sending unit outside in the backyard all winter long. When when I brought everything in, I had to replace the batteries in the in the receiver part, and I, I tested the batteries in the sending unit, and they they were still just like brand new. They'd been sitting out, you know, in the cold wind all winter long, and yeah. So those lithium batteries really are better. Uh, how much better I don't know. I've, I haven't tested them. I just know they're a lot better. Uh, how did we get on this? Okay, let's uh, let's recompose here and see if we can't uh, do something. I uh, don't have any news. The weather is supposed to be a nice day. Uh, I don't think it's going to be as warm as yesterday. Yesterday was was 
gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. My, what a beautiful day. Well, one of the viewers said something about no snow. No, there's very little places now where there's a, where there's snow. Uh, there, there was a, a pile of snow on the, in front of the neighbor's house across the street, but that, that's gone now. So uh, I, I would say our snow is 99.9% .9 gone. There might be a big drift somewhere, uh, but uh, that's fine. It can stay there until it melts. Okay, um, let's get going here. Um, yeah. Here we go again. These videos are all starting to look alike, aren't they? Put the cookie in my pocket. Unlock the door. Go and find the dog. Oh, there she is. There she is. She wasn't listening to me, but she heard your door open. <laughs> oh, let me get up here a little closer. Let me get up a little closer so you don't choke yourself. Okay. Okay, you're waiting for this, aren't you? <laughs> My goodness, those, those teeth, it's a good thing they're not sharp. <laughs> yeah, she thanks my hand with me sometimes. Yeah. Thank you for your kindness, brother. Oh, you're welcome, Max. We'll see you later. See you later. Yeah. Okay. So, this is what I did yesterday. This is the floor. You can't see the frame part of it, but uh, that's what uh, made the mess at the model table, the frames, making the frame. Okay, let's get back in the house here. A few moments ago I did put some extra thin on the connection down there and uh, I had this sort of hooked in behind here and I noticed it's fallen back again. But you know, I'm thinking that it, it might be a good idea at this point to maybe put this bulkhead in place. And because there's, there's getting to be too many pieces now. That, like for instance, we've got to put two more, two more pieces on, the part that goes right here and another, another piece that goes right back here, which will plug into this, this lower slot. Uh, like the, this, this slot here is for for this peg here, um, and then basically I think that's all we have to get in between these two bulkheads. So I'm just going to probably have to do this off camera so that I don't break anything. But uh, we'll just try and get everything lined up and get our, our elastic band on, like like we had done yesterday. At least that's the plan. Okay, I am finding that because this bulkhead here is not glued up. Remember yesterday I was, I was mentioning that it was sort of sort of leaning back like this. It, it wasn't glued to the like right there. Oh, I broke something loose just now. Oh, not really. It's it's nothing serious. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to try and squeeze this because what's happening is the the pipes and so on won't reach the the holes. So uh, I I think what I'm going to have to do is is glue this. Okay. Yeah. In order to get these 
these pipes to, to, to want to stay in, in the holes. I've got to, I've got to move this, everything closer together here. I'm probably going to have to do this off camera. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and try and quickly but carefully get it done. I'm using the extra thin here to meld this pipe together and uh, I, I suppose half of the time I spent here in the last, I don't know, it seems like hours but it wasn't hours, was trying to get th this pipe here that I'm just touching right now, it was twisted about oh 20 degrees too much in the wrong direction. So I had to rehydrate the other end up here. And uh, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? I guess I didn't get my lighting as good as I sometimes do. Anyway, I think I have pretty much got everything the way it is supposed to go. As near as I can tell. Um, okay. I'm using uh, Tony's tweezers as, as a clamp because it fit just right to, to hold these this this pipe together here and uh, I'm hoping that when all the glue I, I like to use the word crystallized but that's not exactly the right word but completely dries uh, I'm hoping everything's going to stay that way when I release the clamps. But that's going to probably take a couple of hours. And then uh, then we can go ahead and try and put this piece on right here. I wonder if I could do that now. Or am I going to just loosen everything, my other joints? I better I better just wait a while. Uh, what, what time have we got here? Okay, 1127. Um, I think maybe I better go do some editing and see what I got. Okay, and, and this is the plan for the sunrise and the bike box time lapse build. I'm going to put the bike box on immediately after the end of this episode. And then the sunrise will be last, as per usual. Uh, just to let you know. Because sometimes somebody might hear the music starting to play and they click stop. And they're going to miss the bike box time lapse. Or the sunrise. Oh, big deal, right? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go do some editing and uh, we'll, we'll get back to you. Okay. The noise they were making finally stopped. Right now in my front yard, on this glorious beautiful pizza day, is a crew and they're about to dig holes, I guess to fix the valve or find the valve for the water. I think they're going to do the whole street from what I can tell. They did the neighbor a while ago and now they're over on my lawn. So I guess I'm going to have a muddy mess for a while. That's life, we got to have water, right? Anyway. Let's do the best we can. Now I just took this out of the microwave. I hope I'm not going to burn my mouth. Mmm. Pineapple. And bacon. That does taste good, actually. Okay, folks. I'm going to call it quits for today. And, uh, oh, there goes the noise again. I wonder what that is. Oh, it says Ditch Witch on it. I guess it's some sort of, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. 
and stay tuned for the Bike Box Building Time Lapse.